Hey guys, uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a Xander or a wall eye pattern. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys uh, will learn something from this and uh, well, let's get started with the uh, paint job. Alright, like in the previous video that I did, I'm going to start off by uh, doing the priming of uh, the scales and shading them with uh, some black and like before I always seem to forget to mention much of paints that I use uh, they're called CAB uh, from CAB coatings uh, which are basically only available for us uh, Finns over here in the north and uh, they're solvent based paints but of course you can definitely do the same sort of uh, painting with uh, normal water based paints as well uh, there's just the advantage of this uh, drying up very fast alright I'm gonna start and do some priming of the uh, scales before I actually start laying some color on top of these and of course if you have uh, paints that are completely opaque uh, you probably don't have to do this but uh, the paints that I'm gonna be using on here are gonna be semi translucent so I always have to do this uh, sort of priming thing And uh, like before, I'm just basically just spraying it from 45 to 35 degree angle. Since I'm doing a uh, sort of like a natural color here, I've uh, mixed some translucent yellow and golden flakes uh, to this paint. And uh, it usually works pretty well. Uh, it doesn't uh, make the color look too harsh and gives it a nice uh, translucent golden uh, feel to it. Okay, I'm gonna start laying some color on the back side now and I've uh, chosen a army green uh, or maybe this is more like an olive green to be honest. Um, what I've done here is I've basically just taken some brown and then just adding some green to it until it has this uh, nice olive look and I've even added a dab of uh, black to it to make it look extra extra dirty and what I've also done here is I've actually made this into a very thin mixture of uh, color so that when I actually start spraying it uh, it doesn't cover um, too much it, I have basically uh, a better control of actually uh, spraying the color. And it worked pretty well in this uh, sort of natural bait fish uh, colors that are supposed to imitate something. Okay, now I'm gonna start uh, doing some patterning on the uh, backside and a little bit on the cheeks as well. Basically, what I do is I take a piece of newspaper and then just roll it into this uh, crude brush or I don't know what, what you would actually call it but uh, just basically dab on some color to it and then just uh, tap that into into the lure itself and I don't really have any kind of plan here I just basically do this uh, completely randomly that, that is usually the way that it actually looks better on this uh, sort of uh, um, paint jobs or patterns or whatever you want to call it and basically what you want is to have um, blobs or these sort of uh, patterns that are different sizes as well seems to always look better that way
And what I usually always uh, try to do as well, that I don't actually put too much color at once. Just a little bit at a time. Seems to usually work better and look better too. Alright, now I'm gonna start uh, doing some white patterns on top of the uh, walleye pattern here. And basically just do the exactly the same thing that I did with uh, a black black color and just do this um, uh, pretty randomly and make sure that I have uh, different sizes of uh, blobs Okay, now I'm gonna start and tying in all of the colors uh, that I tabbed onto the backside with some translucent yellow. And I usually make a point of actually uh, spraying a very thick uh, coat of this uh, translucent yellow uh, onto the backside. It usually makes the colors blend in uh, to the green. Uh, bottom layer much better in my opinion at least now I'm gonna put a very light layer of uh, uh, brown to the on top of the pattern that I did earlier uh, to make it blend in even more better uh, with the back side so that it looks uh, a little bit more natural and I'm gonna start doing some Xander bars or walnut bars or whatever you want to call it um, always tend to start from the back side and then just extend the bars a little bit to the flanks as well and yeah basically there's no real tricks to, to doing this uh, just uh, try not to spray too much if you are looking for uh, making a semi uh, natural looking lure of course it, that's, if that's not your goal uh, then of course you don't have to do that and then I just add a uh, layer of uh, black to the uh, backside as well to even more tie in the colors that I painted there earlier and now it's just a matter of uh, touching up the fins a little bit and we're done so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial again and I'll see you guys on the next one